Okay, <clears throat> welcome to a quick training video presented by WeWire Communications. My name is Rob Cobb, and <clears throat> what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to strip down a armor-coated outside plant Cat5 cable that has the gel on the inside, has a copper metal coating on the inside of this jacket here and <clears throat> this cable is made to be direct burial or, and it can withstand extreme temperatures like heat or extreme cold which in this case I'm in the north slope of Alaska and it gets about 50 to 60 degrees below zero ambient on one of the coldest days and a little colder than that <clears throat> with windshield. Anyways I'm just going to show you how to strip this down and it can get pretty messy so I'm going to take the necessary steps to make sure that uh, we get a clean cut. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our snips right? and <clears throat> just choose a length to cut. I just did one so I'm going to cut it to a similar length which is going to be somewhere around here about six inches down I guess so we'll cut that right you just like I said it's got an armor a copper armor uh, coating on it so you can cut as deep as you want and you just break it I'm not sure how good you can see it on the camera we'll just have to see after I'm done and you just kind of work it around break that coating and then you have sharp sharp metal in here so you can really cut your you can cut your fingers fairly easy so you want to keep your fingers away from this this opening here I generally have like cut up rags that I can grab the uh, the piece that I'm going to pull off. That way, it, it kind of protects my fingers and it gives me a good grip. So you just grab that and you just pull. All right, and so we take off the first coating. It has a, as you can see inside of there, it's a copper metal armored cable coating. I mean, it's just helped to protect the cable when it's in the ground or aerial or whatever so anyways we've got this inner jacket in here these strings right here help cut the outer jacket if we wanted to pull more but we're actually just gonna cut those off all right so now <clears throat> what we have left is an inner jacket the, uh, the uh, cat5 cable uh, leads are actually inside the blue orange green brown leads pairs and the uh, protective gel uh, for corrosion and and such so I'm just going to cut that right close to this base as well and this you have to be a little bit careful I've been doing this for quite a while so I don't necessarily need the the stripping tool to get the precision, precision cut so I'm just going to cut it just slightly until I start seeing the gel come out this plastic is pretty soft here again it's a uh, this, this jacket here is <clears throat> to protect the cable from corrosion and such. It's kind of like a second level deal and keep the gel inside so it's not really that durable as far as damage control or anything. So I'm just going to pull that off. Right? <clears throat> and I'm using this t-shirt again to keep the gel away from my fingers. Right? Get a good grip on that cable there. Um, now what we're left with is the actual Cat5 pairs inside of this cable and at this time <clears throat> I'm going to put on some rubber gloves right? because I'm going to be touching this directly and the reason why I'm using rubber gloves is because uh, I'm going to be doing about 10 of these so I'm going to have some chemical on this cleaning pad that I'm going to show you in just a second that I really don't want all over my fingers all day well for the next couple of hours while I'm doing this so instead of just using that t-shirt to clean that gel off which will just like smear oil pretty much I'm going to use these, these little cleaning pads basically DGL FO it's fiber, it's, it cleans fiber optics, cleans uh, this icky pick type cable gel right <clears throat> comes out to this little <clears throat> pretty damp with the chemical it's not 
really harmful or hazardous, but it'll dry your hands out. It's got alcohol in it and stuff, so I really don't want it all on my fingers all day. So just grab this, and you can kind of split these out a little bit to try to get get it clean on the first on the first uh, wipe, and then you just grab it. You just grab these leads, and as you can see, they're coming clean pretty good, and the stuff's coming off onto this little towelette here. And uh, we just go down on the individual strands, right, until we got all of our leads. And finally, you know, before you really move any further, you just want to inspect the base of the, uh, the cut and see if you got any shiners or any cuts into your actual leads that could cause them to break off or cause you some problems later and you have to basically restrip it. So you really got to pay attention to that. I cut there. Now after I got that stripped, I'm going to grab this rag I got here again and I'll just grab it and clean all of the cleaner off. All right? <clears throat> like so. And now I have four fresh leads to work with. I can get rid of my gloves and now I can work with this and terminate it to my modular jacks or so and so on. So anyways, just another quick uh, video by WeWire and I uh, just wanted to show you how to strip some outside plant icky pick uh, ethernet cable. Armor, armor coated. Thanks for watching.